We're making crab balls. <laughs> Mm. Crab balls. I made to take the meat out of these crabs. I'm gonna finish peeling the rest of these crabs. I actually think half of one jalapeno is gonna be enough for this. Some jalapeno. Some yellow onion. Oh, hey. Okay. I think this is enough onion too. I only have three crabs, so adjust your recipe as needed. A cast iron skillet, you don't have to use a cast iron skillet. I'm gonna put it on medium. We'll put one tablespoon of butter. Let that start melting. Hey, that's the onion and the half of the jalapeno. And I don't have any um, fresh garlic. Uh, garlic powder. And let's saute these. Lemon. I don't need it right now, but I'm gonna need it. Go ahead and add um, some slap your mama. A little bit. Slap your mama. That's good enough. Good enough for me. Turn it off. Remove it from the heat. Let it cool down. This is our crab meat. It's going in there. You want it? Oh. Crackers. Crumble them up in little bitty pieces. We're using parsley flakes. Nope. I'm gonna save some of that, probably to put on top, just to make it look pretty, maybe. We'll see. Some Worcestershire sauce. W sauce, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, not too much. Yeah. About that. You know, that. <laughs> this is the Louisiana hot sauce. Put some of that in there. Yup. Pepper. No such thing as too much pepper. You ask me, and some sea salt. We need an egg. <clears throat> Not any more crackers. Let's mix this together. Gently. Gently. Some lemon juice. These are the lemons. I actually agree. And I'm doing this in case the seeds fall out because I want them. Okay. Some more crackers. It smells great. Highly do recommend um, if you're going to do this, um, boil your crabs and seasoning. You can buy seasonings or you can make your own. We showed you how to do that if you want to. No, oh, don't forget Parmesan cheese. You need that. You want that. I don't know, about like a half a cup, something like that. Gently, gently, gently. I am gonna have more crackers because I still haven't added or sauteed jalapenos and onions yet. They've been cooling, so should be fine. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge for now. Look at that. We're making crab balls. <laughs> I came up with an idea. Have you ever seen my video on making boudin balls? If not, I will link it so you can find it. Um, hey. Oh, we needed some oil. Oh, that's probably more than I needed. Okay, that's fine. All right, we got some fish fry mixture here. And we have this stuff in here. Let's make some balls out of it. I'm gonna turn this on. I, I, I know I put way too much oil in there. Oops. 
Hopefully I don't start a fire because um, Bobby's not here. Okay, let's go on medium. Make a little ball. Just a little ball. About golf ball size ish. Put it in there. Roll it around. Squishing it together. I'm making a box. That's not hot enough. Yeah. Crab balls. Bobby would love that if he was here. He'd be he would be making all kinds of jokes. Hey, crab balls. Here we go. No. I have it on seven. It's getting there, but it's not far. It's a lot of grease. Yeah, I know. My bad. Good thing Bobby the safety man's here in case I start a fire again. Go in! Fried. That's good. It's fried. It'll be better this way, it? It's like boudin balls, but with no boudin. I only have five of them, so I'm going to try to get them all in here. Ah! See, that's how it started a fire before. No, start no fires. Okay. Yeah. No more fires. I'm trying not to get burnt. Hey, let's let those fry for a minute. Bobby's gonna take over right now. Why? Because I'll start a fire. All right, Terry left me in charge, so we're gonna roll them over. Looking good. <laughs> that one rolled over by itself, I like it. Crab balls. Looking nice and brown. Oh yeah. I'm gonna pull these things off. Turn the fire off. Now we got stuffed crabs, crab balls, ribeye steaks, barbecue grilled bacon, and sausage. This can be a hell of a plate. Mm. Crab balls. Really good. In the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Here.